Systematics is a typical kind of thing. Three domains and six kingdoms in between. Uh-oh, this test gonna be hard, I know. You bacteria and archaea bacteria. Protus, fungi, plantae, and animalia. Uh-oh, I think my mind is gonna blow. And now we got the cell types. The prokaryotes have stripes. Some with walls of peptid dollar can only you bacteria do tonight. Come on, that's right. Fungi have triton cell walls. The plantae have cellulose. Plus their chloroplasts, which the protists have. Don't you leave me feeling stupid tonight. Come on, that's right. Cheerio! When it comes to the number of present cells, the bacteria are unicellular. Uh oh, animals are multicellular. Protists are mostly unicellular. Some happen to be multicellular. Uh oh. Fungi and plantae are opposite. The modes of nutrition are auto or heterotroph. Bacteria are both of them. Fungi and animals are hetero tonight. Come on, that's right. Plantae are just autotrophs. Protista are both. So let's wake up, let's get on it, don't you leave me studying all night tonight. Come on, that's right, cheerio! Binomial nomenclature is a two-part way naming system where genus and species are used. The first word is always capitalized. It was developed by Carlos Linnaeus. Domain, kingdom, and phylum, class, order, family, genus, species is the last taxa. That's what we learned from systematics. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but we love bio. Linnaeus had issues, he thought there was own. The two kingdoms, sorted by physical traits, not involved characteristics. All of the cladograms show how evolutionary Lineage branched off from a common ancestor. A big splitting event is often called a node. Cladograms are made using derived characteristics. Dichotomous keys are used to help science nerds find the name of an organism. I hope the song helped. You remember this stuff. It's systematics. This song is awesome. Wogaloops will rule the world! <laughs>